Hey, um, I don't know if you know this, but if you smile, like, real hard, like, like a genuine smile, there's actually a ringing in your ear, and that's called... You look good today. I hope they have a good day. Hold on, one more. One more. Nice. Anorexia? Don't know her anymore. 2017 versus now. Man, congratulations. That is not easy. People with eating disorders, man, I feel for all of you guys because it's daily torment. I hope this post can encourage you to seek some therapy and try and help yourself. There is a way out. I promise. My mom and I went to Safeway to get some groceries and we ran into my dad buying flowers for her. Oh my god, yo. I really wonder how the mom felt, man, because that is so precious and you know for a fact that's going to be a memory forever. There's a story told at every Thanksgiving, every Christmas dinner, every dinner, bro. It's going to be brought up because this seems like something out of a movie, my man. This is Nugget. And for 10 years, whenever he gets anxious, he sits in bed and cries, pawing at blankets until I make a fort with him to crawl into. And suddenly, everything is right in his little world. Well, duh, the anxiety isn't real, man. It's a game. It's a play. And I don't blame you for falling for it. Because who doesn't want to build a fort for their pet, man? It's like the most wholesome action on the planet. My son didn't ask for anything specific for his 13th birthday, so we had to guess. I picked the silliest and most useless thing I could find, a giant bread-shaped pillow, then argued with husband for two days before he finally agreed to buy it. He loved it! Bruh! Where can I get that pillow? Where can- that is awesome, man! It's bigger than him! Can I- can I get one too? I mean, my birthday's coming up in like three months, so like, you, you can get me one! Nobody! My dad's photo gallery. I agree. I, I would do the same, you know? I would definitely make sure that my cat and or dog would have multiple selfies on my phone. It just has to happen. It keeps your phone happy. Hey, uh, what would you do if your child or teenager threw a birthday party and nobody showed up? This didn't happen to my son, but my younger brother on his sixth birthday. I was 17. So my mom handed out every invitation and some parents actually responded and made sure that they were going. The day came and nobody showed up. My mom was furious and my brother was so sad. My mom was busy calling the parents, but I didn't care about them, to be honest. I just wanted to cheer up my brother. So I called some of my closest friends and I told them that it's my brother's birthday. Come on over, there's plenty of food. In an hour, they were there and we had a blast. We jumped in the bouncy house, I taught my brother how to play FIFA, he opened up his presents, and my friends actually got him something on their way. We sang happy birthday and he started crying and hugged me and we blew out the candles together. I'm lifeguarding, and I just witnessed an 8-year-old girl tell this boy that they can't be together because he has a phone and she doesn't. He then threw his phone into the dive pool and said, nothing can keep me away from you. This generation loves so hard now. That's an adorable story, and I can absolutely see that happening, but could you just imagine being the parent in that situation? You know, asking your son where his million dollar cell phone is, only to find out that it's in the shallow end of the pool? Ran into a guy I played football with in high school today. As he's introducing me to his girlfriend, he says, This is John. He was the only popular kid in high school who didn't bully me. He was actually my friend. Just a reminder that people never forget how you make them feel. During teaching today, I was petting my cat, and my coworker announced it and asked to see the cat. Then no fewer than 60% of the students reached down and pulled their cats up into view of the cameras, and suddenly my Zoom squares were all cats and everything was perfect. Man, Zoom classes were a strange time. I can't believe that was only three years ago. The amount of times where I would just be in econ class and see people petting their cats or dogs or playing with their pets during class was uncountable and insane. Trust me seeing everybody's dogs and cats made learning how to use R a whole lot easier. My little boy is in the process of being tested for autism. He's three and rarely speaks a word. That's understandable. But he always says love you dad when I put him to bed and that will do me for the rest of my life. Those words mean the most out of any. My mom passed away last weekend. I emailed my professors to ask for a 24 hour extension. Professor one only gave me an extra 12 hours. Professor two told me to do the assignments for the week when I could and asked if I wanted to share my favorite memories with her instead. Be like professor number two. To be honest, a lot of bad professors poison the well. 
there's a lot of good ones that will absolutely make your life easier if you do have a tragedy like that. You know, it's the few that go out of their way to punish you, that make you do that assignment anyway, that really muddies the water. I've been blessed to never been in a position where I've had to go to a professor and ask for an extension on an assignment because of some sort of tragedy, but for those who have, I really hope that they were accommodating, because that can really mess up your view of professors when it comes to college. The things my dad sends to my mom. Yeah, it's in April. Why did you send me this? Hey, yo, I thought you liked me. You don't, you don't like my face? I'll send it to you again. I serve this cute old man and woman every day, and today I asked them how long they've been married. They smiled at each other and said, Honey, we aren't married. She's my best friend. Ever since my wife and her husband passed, we take care of each other. She's all I have. When the wind's northerly, little birds like this get blown offshore. We pick them up, so we bring them in here, and we set them next to the heater. We feed him some crackers for the ride home. Let him dry out. Poor little guy. You're all right. We'll give you some crackers and some chips. We'll take care of you. Buddy found a new seat. He's ripping my hair out of my head to think. Go. Now he is sitting on the phone. We will be in in about an hour. And we're gonna let him go free. Little guy's pretty excited to see land. Here he goes. See you later, buddy. A group of young kids caught me on the way to the store, asked me if I wanted to make a bet. I replied, I'm a gambling man. Older kid said he could ride a wheelie on his bike, stop sign to stop sign. I said, no way. And how much? He said, 10 bucks. I said, why 10? He said they wanted a large pizza at Domino's. I said, deal. He came very close but couldn't hold his wheelie that long. While they were figuring out how to come up with 10 bucks, I had already ordered the pizza plus a 2 liter Sprite. Made my night. Love seeing kids be kids. Two pizzas plus a two liter Sprite, man, oh my god. If I was in that group, I won the lottery. For whatever reason, between the ages of 11 and I wanna say 18 and 19, pizza and a two liter Mountain Dew was the meal of champions. I, I couldn't eat any better. That was it, I won that day if I was able to get that. Asked my neighbor to look after my plant while I'm gone, he sent me this. That is so goofy and perfect. Why is he reading the plant, the Necronomicon? Oh my God. I'm gonna ask that and see how my horse reacts. Take like. Personal win, four years clean today from opiates and alcohol. Wow, that is impressive because both alcohol withdrawal and opiate withdrawal is terrible. And the pain and sickness from that is more than a motivator to relapse. And the fact that you stuck with it for four years, that is a testament to your strength, ma'am. I hope you're still going strong. Eight pumpkin seeds, pooped them out, and they started growing. Here she is sitting next to her work. Hey, I'd be careful, those aren't normal pumpkins. They might start barking. Every time I'm in the shower, my dog stares at me worried, and he must assume that I'm upset in here because he hates baths. So he thinks if he drops his toy in, that I'll feel better. Sounds like a good idea to me. Your dog is really thinking with all of his brain cells. Who doesn't want a chew toy in the shower? Yeah, it's in the microwave. It's microwave. Yeah, it's almost done. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, go ahead, run. <laughs> You're welcome. Fun fact, my cat and I are both blind, so we accidentally run into each other sometimes. But because I'm much louder than he is, when we get close to each other, he chirps to warn me he's there. 
Why does this sound like a TV show? Why does this sound like something that I would sit down and watch? Definitely a perfect sitcom idea. Somebody get on it. There's a student that's a selective mute. She apparently stopped talking generally at the age of four due to trauma. Been working with her for over a year and usually she just waves, but today she said good morning to me. I couldn't imagine not knowing what my voice sounds like because of a traumatic event. But the fact that you're out here helping her, man, you have all of the good karma. This person absolutely deserves a good morning, straight up. This is my son's friend, Jared. Before I hear any wisecracks, Jared has been fighting lung cancer and we almost lost him. He was recently cleared to work out and today his arm measured eight and a quarter inches and his legs are just over 12 and he's at 0% body fat. I'm taking him under my wing. Stay tuned for Jared's progress. Jared already beat cancer, so working out is about to be a cakewalk. This dude's gonna look like a Greek god. Hey babe. Hey babe. How are you? Good. Good? Hey, let's go shopping. I'll go shopping? shopping? We have a baby. No, your mom will be here in 30 minutes. Got a babysitter, all lined up. We're gonna go to Home Goods, then we're gonna go to Target. Sounds good? So far, yeah? Then you're gonna go get pedicures after? What? Yeah, let's get pedicures. Yeah? Oh, eyeliner. Away. What? And then we'll go uh, get brunch. You want brunch? We'll go to First Watch. Yeah, we'll get some pancakes. Yeah, syrup on them. Maybe some uh, biscuits. Oh, yeah. Uh, whatever you want to do. Yeah, Chick fil A. We've got a peach milkshake. Peach milkshake? Yeah, peach milkshake. Ready? You want to go? Wait, really? Yeah, let's go. Yeah! I told my grandma she looked cute today and she said she wanted to match her favorite chair. Dude, why is this a look? Why is this a vibe? I can definitely see this becoming some sort of fashion trend. Imagine matching with your furniture, man. This is tough. With a little bit of Photoshop and tweaking, you could turn this into an album cover. Six years later and cancer free. Let's go. The whole world hates cancer. All of my homies are against cancer. If we could throw cancer in jail, I'd put them under the jail. The kid I nanny is nervous for the first day of school and my heart is completely melted. Ayo, hey, be careful, dude. That's a baby. That's a baby hand. And we all know that children have like infinite grip strength. So just be careful. He is holding your pinky. The moment he gets scared is the very moment you forfeit that pinky. I'm just saying it's a cute picture, but be careful. My grandma asked me to paint a picture of her when she was young and she got so happy she started crying. Wow, that looks like a legitimate photo. It looks like you just traced a photo. It's so incredibly realistic. I seriously wonder how long it took her to put that together because that's impressive. A deer entered a shop in Colorado and the shop owner gave him some biscuits and chocolates. 30 minutes later, he came back with his family members so they can eat too. Wow, he really brought the squad. You thought that was gonna just be a one-time thing? Nah, now you have to pay every day. My grandfather always had candy in his pockets, and one time when I got really sick and I was hospitalized, my dad told him not to give me any candy. He pulled out his pockets to show me that he hadn't brought any, and I got really sad. But as soon as my dad walked out of the room, he then proceeded to take off his hat and had two chewy chocolate candy toffees and two orange Fanta toffees. And I'll never forget the happiness and surprise I felt in that one moment in my entire life. Got my nails done and picked this cute lavender color and my nail guy goes, that was my wife's favorite. She passed away 15 years ago today. This morning I woke up and asked for a sign that she was still there with me. So I guess this is it, thank you. My 89 year old grandmother has dementia. I brought baby Yoda along for a visit and she instantly fell in love with it. Now it's hers and she named it Ladybug. I think it's genuinely impossible to find Baby Yoda not cute. Trust me, it should be a litmus test for whether or not someone is a psychopath if you put a Baby Yoda plush in front of them and they don't immediately hug it. I have never actually been caught smoking weed, but I'm pretty sure my parents know sober people don't give goodnight handshakes. I did it. I got out of my toxic five-year relationship with my son's father, got my own apartment. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it by myself. No help from anyone. We might only have an air mattress for now, but I did it and I am done being verbally and emotionally abused. That had to be an insane weight on her shoulders. I'm glad that she was able to escape a very dangerous situation and all by herself. It's a shame that no one helped her or if she couldn't find any help, but to be honest, that only makes the success feel even better. She did it all by herself. This young man I hired as a temporary helper off the streets, no home, no clothes, living under a bridge seven months ago, well, he has not missed a day. 
He'd never been late, not one complaint, and has reunited with his parents, has a car, has clothes on his back, and now he's officially a waste management employee with benefits. An amazing story and individual. God is good. My dog's favorite toy is Santa, so we brought her to see him. Hey, yo, look at the dog. Look at how happy that dog is. And to be honest, I'd be happy too, because Santa is real. I am a full-blown 100% Santa believer. And every time I see, like, a Santa guy at a mall, it really just brightens my heart, bro. It brings me back to being a kid. And you know Christmas time is wholesome when a dog can even get something out of it, bro. The biggest lie I ever told and how my husband came to protect it. For years, I have lived this lie telling everyone I'm allergic to peanuts because I hate the smell of peanut butter. And I really don't like peanut butter that much, but whenever I used to tell people I don't like peanut butter, they'd all get defensive, like, peanut butter is amazing, how do you not like it? And then I'd have to go into this whole thing to defend my taste buds. But then I got tired of it and started telling people that I'm just allergic to peanuts because that way it's not my fault that I hate the smell of peanut butter. It's now like I'm a sad little baby who will never get to taste peanut butter ever in her life and everyone feels sad for me. But the problem is, is that I really love peanut M&Ms and so now I can only eat peanut M&Ms when I'm at home in secret. The only person who knows my life is my husband. And so at work this evening, we had a small celebration for someone who had peanut M&Ms and I really wanted some, but obviously I couldn't eat them in public because then people would know my peanut secret. And then we got home after work and my husband tipped his jacket over and emptied his pockets and there was at least 30 or so peanut M&Ms that fell out of his pockets and he whispered, I was sneakily accumulating them all night for you because I could see the pain in your eyes. And if that isn't love, then I don't know what is. What's up everybody, it's your boy Ailerus, aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you liked the video, and if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe fam, what you doing watching videos and not subscribing, and if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. This week we have another Panda Bomb, we got two videos today, two videos Wednesday, and two videos Friday all of them being channel favorites and if you're curious which videos are going to be dropping this week go ahead and take a look at the community tab for all that information and as always gotta thank the patreon supporters that make content like this possible a big thank you to sherry morrison tron destroy 23 the eggs one soviet frog fitz chivalry din corda code connor purvis aileris's mom declan s16 green pasta man squish Rin Hex, mr bean my golden experience james tucker lucas adams bmx 30 cinnamon sticks scott the fake musician buckethead samantha belhar admin fanneker zach f bloody hunter keely dunder nas hawk lady laughs a lot swiss patreon user noah and Catherine taylor thank you so much for your support it is greatly appreciated and if you want to help support the channel there's two links in the description one of my merch store and one of my patreon both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here and as always stay zesty